Now we'll attach the links of the drag chain to the drag chain end that's mounted to the X carriage. Note the orientation of the chain in the video. It's flexible in one direction and rigid in the other. Push the drag chain links onto the drag chain ends. It should snap into place. Thread the wires for the Z-axis motor, X-axis motor, and spindle through this length of drag chain. It helps to take a piece of tape and connect the ends of each wire before threading. Use your finger to guide the wire if it tries to escape the drag chain. Take the drag chain bracket and mount the other end piece to it. Use a small screw and a nut and make this connection slightly tighter than finger tight. This drag chain bracket will mount to the Y motor mount plate on the left side of the machine. Unscrew the self-tapping screws one at a time to mount this drag chain bracket. Start with the top one, get it back to finger tight, and then screw in the bottom screw. Keep the washers between the Y motor plate and the drag chain bracket. Next, snap the drag chain into the drag chain end on the bracket. Repeat this process for the y-axis drag chain. Remember to only unscrew one self-tapping screw at a time in order to keep your machine aligned for this step. Push the female end of the drag chain onto the end that's mounted to the Y-axis motor plate. Bundle all of the wires and secure the ends with a piece of tape as before. Thread this bundle through the Y-axis drag chain and push it into place. Again, it should snap when it's secure.